breaking news, guys. It don't happen again, no. Everywhere don't scatter. Many feared killed as soldiers, bandits, clash in troubled Magu community in Plateau State. Nigerians, this matter don't come out for be careful. May God have mercy on us. Not is really heating up, heating up in Nigeria, particularly this Plateau State. What is going on? Then they say religious crisis. Why would this be a problem? I don't they talk and sins, I they still they talk and without missing words. The only problem we are facing in Africa is religion and tribalism. Where you come from, your region and, and religion. If these two things not there here, I believe say everybody could live in peace. But waiting will make person could begin the key person for the sake of say religion or whatever. Doesn't make sense. Even if you feel that you are doing it for God, do you think the God that you are calling will be happy seeing you taking the lives of others because maybe you don't like them or you don't just like their their faith or their belief or whatsoever? Make we even see here how this one take happen. This one will make you understand, say, Nigeria is in a big trouble. There is no peace in this country. People, Nigerians, are not safe. Even Nigeria as a country is not safe as well. Scores have reportedly been killed during a clash between soldiers and gunmen in two villages of Magu local government area of Plateau State on Saturday morning. This one happened yesterday morning. It was learned that no fewer than 30 gunmen were killed. Why some soldiers sustained injuries during the clash few hours after Governor Clep uh, relaxed the 24-hour curfew imposed on, on the area? The security operative told Daily Trust that the incident occurred between 7 to 7.30 a.m. when the gunmen came in their numbers and started attacking some communities and long gay diary route. In no time, the soldiers were alerted and immediately responded. About 30 of the gunmen were killed, while more than 50 of them were arrested with guns and ammunition. Four soldiers were equally injured. Another source in the area who also pleaded for anonymity confirmed the incident, adding that people were still in fear. Sahara reporters days ago reported that the gunmen defied the 24-hour curfew imposed by the Plateau State government to attack Wahasilik and the surrounding communities, killing no fewer than 25 persons and burning some properties too. According to a resident, Ibrahim Hussa, the skirmish in Sabon Gari and Magu on Tuesday was a decal to pave the way for the attack on the community, which is not far from the National Youth Service Corps, NYSC, Permanent Orientation Cup at Jakita, Magu local government area. For the second time, my village, Kwa has lucky behind the NYSC camp was attacked at about 12.30 a.m., leaving over 25 people, mostly women and children, killed as houses were burned and some persons left with gunshots. At about midnight, there were sporadic gunshots, and the women ran to one compound for safety. Unfortunately, the terrorists went there and killed them while the men were keeping vigil aside the community. The victims were killed at a community leader's house where they ran for refuge. Maran Maranara and other communities in Magu, Hale district, and those on the borders of Magu and Bakin Ladi local government areas are deserted now, he had lamented. So, May God help us. May God have mercy on Nigerians. 
I keep saying this, tribalism and religious bigotry is the biggest problem to plateau states and in Africa as well. This is becoming something else. This is becoming something else. I don't even know why all these things will be causing problem. You are fighting because I don't like your religion. I don't like you because of your faith. Why? Why will you hate? When you go, do go check them. All of them are they call the same God. If you are a Muslim, now God is the call, you they pray. If you are a Christian, now God is still the call, they pray. Even traditional uh, worshippers, they still they call God, they pray. So why will all these things bring, bring problem to you and your neighbors? That you just wake up, you, breathe, you, you pick knife, you begin this, you know, they slice people. Animals are even killed with respect. But the way they are not treating human beings, you know, lately in Nigeria, is questionable and is troubling. This is really disturbing. We don't even know when this problem will end. When? The governments have to be proactive. Address this issue for once. This is no longer a joke. The killings are becoming too much. These are human beings like every other person. No one deserves to die in a such a way. If we have a government at all, if if there is any government in Nigeria, I think this is the this is the high time they have to stop this this madness. They have to stop this. They have to stop this for once. Well, let's see how it goes. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section.